what's going on guys welcome back for another quad vlog it's been quite a long time since i've uploaded a video on the channel for you guys i do have to say last week i was actually planning on uploading a video i had all you know i had the whole video filmed and everything like that and my audio uh all my audio on the video was i guess corrupted or let's just say i forgot to plug in the mic i hear like a faint rattle when it's idling. I don't know if that's my valves or... It's like a faint ticking sound. I think that's probably... I'm guessing that's my valves. Not really sure. It's really faint. I don't really know. We'll see if it gets better or worse as we go for a ride today. But anyways, like I said, I was planning on uploading a video last week and when I started editing the footage, no audio, I was pretty pissed. Pretty pissed because it was actually a pretty good video. If you guys don't know, and I'm sure if any of you live in the Midwest, especially Nebraska and of course South Dakota where I'm from, you guys know about all the flooding that we've been having as of late and currently. And last week's video was kind of about that. I went around town and just kind of looked at what's going on and I came across some like huge ice chunks. I showed you guys the bridge that got knocked out and I might throw in some clips right now of that. Of course, there's no audio, so I might just, you know, make them really quick, but um, they're pretty crazy clips. Some of the ice was like two feet thick in some places and the ice jam, you know, it caused a bunch of flooding and everything like that. So I'll probably throw those clips in right now. A lot of the ground in the Midwest is still frozen because of the really cold temperatures we've had over the past couple months. And that really pretty much caused, um, that's pretty much the main cause of all the flooding is because when the ground is frozen, it can't absorb any of the water. That guy, uh, that guy was staring at me, probably heard me talking like an idiot. <laughs> Definitely miss moto vlogging like in traffic and stuff like that people just look at you like you're crazy It's finally starting to feel a little bit like spring Woo! It's finally starting to feel a little bit like spring. It's 55 degrees right now, and I'm finally able to what the hell <laughs> That was a smart car with like a derby uh, derby car wing on it. That's crazy There's still a lot of flooding expected in my town I guess through the week because of the warmer temperatures It's supposed to be like 70 degrees Wednesday, which is gonna be super nice I don't know, that tick seemed to have, I guess, gotten quieter or gone away. I think it was my valves. It's probably about time I check those and adjust them. I haven't done them in probably, uh, probably like two or three years, which is really bad. But it's a Raptor 700. I mean, it's not like a racing, uh, racing engine. Um, so, I mean, you know, whatever. But I will get those done this summer. That's on my to-do list. Bruh, the potholes in this town are crazy. After the gnarly winter we had, oh my god, the potholes are just absolutely terrible. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, I guess that ticking went away. I don't really know what it was. I'm guessing it was my valves, but you know, those can wait. You guys might have noticed, but we got the Duro Scorchers on. I put the street tires on, took the knobbies off, um, changed the oil in the quad yesterday, and it didn't even really seem that bad. You know, it was it was it was fairly black after all the uh, winter riding I did this winter, but uh, wasn't too bad. And I also cleaned the air filter earlier today too, and oiled it up, got all the dirt and crap out of it. I run without an air box lid. Hate me all you want, but. I don't know, I've just heard that. Well, I guess in my opinion, like the 700cc engine sucks a lot of air and I feel like the opening isn't that big. So, you know, whatever. I don't ride in like sand or like gravel conditions too often. So I don't think running without a lid really hurts me. So right now I'm gonna drive around town and just kind of survey the damage, I guess you could say, of all the flooding we've had. I know it's like a week later, but actually the river like like flows through town is supposed to flood. I mentioned that earlier. Oh, right there. Okay, all right, all right. We're seeing some right now. 
that is uh that is that is still really high okay yeah here's a perfect perfect example you guys can see the fence the top of the fence is under the flipping water that's insane and I really shouldn't be complaining a lot too much about the flooding we have here. It's Nebraska that really took the uh, like the big hit. Um, a couple people died actually, I think. I know one really sad story was a guy, I, I don't know his name and I apologize, but he was taking his tractor across a bridge to uh, get some stranded motorists and uh, the bridge collapsed. Which that just, you know, that just really sucks because he was trying to be a nice guy, a good Samaritan, and help some people out. And uh, the bridge collapsed. The main problem for northern Nebraska, I think, was the dam broke. Here's another look at the river. You know, a week later and we've had like 50 degree temperatures and the ice is still like super thick, but this ice was just super thick. And that was the problem. Funny thing, this tunnel actually was flooded. There's a pump still, they still got a pump laying out. Um, they had to pump out this tunnel. You guys can maybe see on the camera, but there's like a slight downward, you know, slope here. This tunnel was like up four feet underwater which is, <laughs> I don't know. There's a couple of cars stranded. Sometimes people just don't think, and that happens a lot when people are in a rush driving. Like, there was a lot of cars, shit. Uh, there's a lot of cars that decided to drive through water. It's like, oh, you know, it's probably only a few inches deep. And uh, no, dude, it was like two feet deep, four feet in some places. Right now, I'm gonna head over to that park I was talking about earlier where that walking bridge got um, destroyed by the ice. It's kind of funny, but you know, not really. But uh, I'll throw a video clip of, somebody took a video, it wasn't me. Somebody took a video of the moment the bridge actually got swept away. So I'll throw that in right now. I'll give you guys a little six month review on the twist throttle. I absolutely love the thing. I don't think I could go back to, you know, the stock thumb throttle. It just feels so much like, so much more natural to have a twist throttle on this thing, especially riding on the street. So before we get there, I want to give you guys a little update on the project YFZ450 I plan on doing this summer. What the heck? That didn't sound good. So, the update isn't really that exciting. <laughs> I'm still looking for a YFC 450. I'm looking like every day and there's a few that I see nearby, but nothing that really catches my eye. There's a guy that commented, sorry, I can't remember your name, but on the video that I announced that I was doing the build, he said that I should probably stay away from the early models, like the 04s, 05s, 06s, I think. And that's because they did have a known oil pickup issue, I believe. And since then they've obviously changed that, or I guess fixed it on uh, the later models. If I got like an 08, that's obviously not a late model, but I'm trying to get something a little newer, not like super old. So this is one of the parks. Oh, it's closed. Are you shitting me? You guys can still see all the ice and how high the river is though. Insane, dude. All right, so we'll go down here, check out the bridge. But one thing I want to talk to you guys about in this video is a lot of you guys probably don't even know that I have a Triumph Daytona 675 because a lot of you guys just watch me for the quad content which hey you know what quads are quads are cooler in my opinion but um would you guys like to see moto vlogs this summer or not because I have a Triumph Daytona 675 I love the motorcycle but I'm losing motivation to ride the bike I was thinking about selling the bike this summer and of course using that money for the YFZ 450 build but I'm not saying we can't do the build and like I, I have to sell the bike I definitely can keep the bike and still do the build I want to know what you guys think about doing moto vlogs would you guys want to see more of the Daytona or not all right so the park is closed which is overly annoying and they actually haven't given out tickets but I'm just gonna risk it for the biscuit 
and freaking send her right over. So let's go, boys. So this is where the bridge used to be. <laughs> this is where the bridge used to be. And it got washed downstream, like, I don't know, until the next bridge down there. But um, the water used to be quite a bit higher. It's still pretty high right now. But, <laughs> oh, man, it sucks. I don't really know how they're going to replace it, to be honest. A lot of ice still up in the trees and stuff like that. I don't know where the bridge is at. <laughs> it's probably downstream somewhere. So there you have it. There's all the flooding that's been going on in my town and it's actually supposed to get a little bit worse this week because of all the snow melt like I mentioned earlier. So hopefully, oh crap, hopefully it doesn't get too bad. All right guys, I think this is where I'm gonna end the video. I know I didn't talk about anything overly interesting, but uh, had to get on here and upload a video for you guys. It's been such a long time. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below and I will see you guys on the next one.